الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله. The question was asked, uh, what is obligatory upon a Muslim to know? The obligatory knowledge versus recommended knowledge, for example, knowledge of inheritance versus knowledge of prayer. So, uh, in general, we've talked about this many times over the years, and I think it would be appropriate to quote from Imam Muhammad, who said, he said, I'lam rahimakullah. He said, Know and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon you. That verily it's an obligation to know four things. And he said, Al Ula, the first thing is uh, knowledge of Allah, knowledge of uh, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and knowledge of the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. And so that is the most shamil and most comprehensive in general thing of what we should know. So meaning that you need to know uh Tawheed, Tawheed, Al Uruhiya, Tawheed, Arububiya, Tawheed, Al Asma'i wa Sifat. You should focus on that science. Meaning not not that you have to go so in depth in the beginning stages, but this is what you need to concern yourself. Have a general knowledge of Tawheed. Because that is the asas of your, your deen. And the miftah agenda, the, the key to paradise, is built upon the kalima, kalima to tawheed, kalima to ikhlas, which is the shahadatain. Uh, and the second thing he mentioned, all within the context of knowledge, he said that a person needs knowledge of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So also reading the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, reading his ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you know who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was. And you know the importance of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that we should follow it. Because that's your usul, that's your asas, that's your foundation in the religion. And the third thing he mentioned is Deen al Islam be Adilla, that knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. So that's why you're you're uh, you're going, you're gonna to try to memorize some Quran, you're gonna to try to memorize some hadith, because this gives you the nasus, it gives you the text, and the person who is strong in memorization and Allah favors them with understanding, because that's not the same. There are some people who have a lot of textual knowledge. I mean they've memorized but they don't have any faham, they don't have any understanding. And sometimes you find like some big takfiris, some big Sufis and stuff that have memorized so much, but their understanding of the nasus is batal, based on batal. You know, either they're, they're doing all kind of unlegislated practices, they're making takfir of the, <laughs> the whole world except for them, they are making it lawful to spill the blood of everyone and the believers and causing fitna in the earth instead of being the muslihun as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the munafikeen. And this is very important to, uh, to, to have textual, to knowledge of the textual proofs and to, uh, you know, know your worship, uh, those things which are an obligation upon you with its evidences as much as you're able. Not, not everyone's going to be a talib al alim so we ha do have to understand that. Not everyone, you can't make it hard on everyone, but you do need to know about those issues which are an obligation upon you. We all know we need to make tahara properly, so we need to know how the ahkam of tahara. We all know we need to pray, so we need to know the ahkam of salat. We all, uh, if you're a person who has any wealth uh, or, or fitting under zakat, well then you need to know those ahkam pertinent to your wealth. Um, and likewise, the other acts of if Hajj becomes uh, uh, an obligation upon you, you have the means, then you need to know about Hajj. Uh, and fasting, of course, Kutiba Alaikum Siyam, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fasting is prescribed for you. That means you need to know the Akam of fasting. Doesn't mean, mean you need to know all the intricate details in Masail and Fatawa and things in the Masail, Qadim and Wahadith, and no. But it means that you need to know how to practice these things just to get to Jannah. That's, that's what you need to know. And so, as far as fara'id, uh, those are knowledge that might be mustahab. Or, and it depends if you, if you, but if you have wealth and you, 
you know, uh, and so forth, and, or your family member has wealth and, you know, inheritance, then they do need to know about this or at least have um, uh, istishar or they need to uh, consult with those people who do know. Um, so this is very important for us to know. Those things, you know, the one who has wealth and does tijara, they do business. They need to know what's a riba and what's not riba, you know, what they can do with their wealth and how they can benefit from their wealth. And so this is, in general, what a person, that obligatory knowledge versus that recommended knowledge. Uh, and obligatory knowledge is obviously those things you need and that you need to know because it is a, it's an obligation upon you. Okay, uh, and there's a qaida fiqiyya or a, 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 sul fiqh, a sul fiqh principle in which they say that um, when they talk about the uh, conditions, anyhow, that the condition for something uh, that you need to know. Anyway, I've forgotten the principle, but the point being that you, a person, uh, anyway, you need to know if something is an obligation upon you, you need to know how to fulfill that obligation. And, and so then that means it's, an, uh, it's a, an obligation to gain that knowledge. So, for example, if something is wajib upon you, aqimu salat, Allah has commanded you to pray, then the knowledge of how to make salat is an obligation upon you as well because you can't fill an obligation except with an obligation and I think the point is, is, is been made and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad